Papers International, or CSI, conference, which is uh, hosted by Crime Line and the South African Police Service in Cape Town. The conference, which uh, will take place, uh, this is happening at the Cape Town International Convention Centre. It started on Sunday, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, it ends tomorrow. And it's now attracting hundreds of local and foreign delegates with an amazing lineup of speakers. And uh, anybody who is interested in ridding our country and certainly the world as well of crime. Well, joining us from our C Point studios is the head of Crime Line and the chairman of the conference organizing committee, Yusuf Abramji. Yusuf, welcome to the program. It's so lovely to have you here on Morning Live. Good morning, Leanne. And before we talk crime, it's only appropriate for me to wish you a happy 21st birthday. Uh -huh. I'm hoping <laughs> that uh, you've got a big bash uh, and a big party lineup for later today. Well <laughs> done and congratulations, Leanne. I love you. Thank you so much. I, I was called old over Twitter. Somebody, somebody reminded me that they, they'd been watching me since grade four. They're now in second year of varsity. And I said, my gosh, I'm old. So she went on to reply and say, yes, you are old, but you still look nice. <laughs> so thanks, Yusuf. 21 years is good. I, I'll I, take can, it. I, can, I, can, I can assure you, I can assure you you knowing you, Leanne, you will never get old, but all of the best. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, man, Yusuf. Thank you so much. And listen, a big congratulations for pulling this one off because I, I couldn't think of a country, um, I mean, I know it's a global organization, but I couldn't think of a country right now that needs this conference more. How's it been going? Started on Sunday. Well, Leanne, it's going well. We're on day two. We've got uh, uh, the over 600 delegates. It's the biggest conference ever to be hosted by Crime Stoppers International, the 35th conference coming for the first time. Uh, to uh, Africa for the first time, to South Africa, the southernmost tip uh, of our continent. Uh, and it's great to have not only hundreds of local delegates, uh, experts from across the world, delegates from across the world. And when we put in a pitch for the conference some three, four years ago, uh, some of the members were nervous. Many of them thought that South Africa was a third, the, the, third, the world dumb country. And what we are seeing in Cape Town is not only a dream come true for us as South Africans, but for many of the crime stoppers from across the world. Uh, we have a, a great lineup of speakers. In fact, we have about 60 speakers lined up. Uh, and today, we hope that uh, Archbishop Desmond Tutu will make a surprise appearance at about quarter to 11 uh, with a very short message and a prayer, which yeah. will be the highlight for the conference. And, and really, um, yesterday, uh, we had a number of speakers, a lot of discussion, a lot of debate, but it's going well, Leanne. Good. I'm happy to hear that. And, and, and I see that you, you, you've got everybody involved and, 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 and we'll talk international in a short while, but locally. I mean, I've, I, I've seen Ria Piecha, who's on the lineup as well as our, our, our police minister as well. So you've got buy-in from government in this conference, which is, which is vitally important, I imagine, for you. Most certainly, President Jacob Zuma, on behalf of the government and the people of South Africa, issued a statement ahead of the conference, wishing us well. President Zuma and the government have been supportive right from day one when we put in the pitch to host in South Africa. And the president makes a valid point. We have to become active citizens. We have to take the lead in the fight against crime. And as much as we point fingers at government, as much as we whinge about crime, which is our democratic right, we have to roll up our sleeves. And the idea with this conference is to bring civil society together Together, to bring law enforcement together, to bring the media together, and to see how we can take the fight against crime to the next level. We want to innovate. We want to activate. We want to educate. Uh, we want to really come up with new ways in the fight against crime. And crime knows no borders. Um, these criminals have no respect for governments. They have no respect for laws. They have no respect for you. They have no respect for me. And that is why it's more important now than ever before for us to unite in the fight against crime. And Crime Stoppers is an international program. Yeah. We in South Africa run the Crime Line Initiative and the Crime Stop Initiative in partnership with the South African Police Service very, very effectively. And uh, tomorrow e evening at the gala dinner, the message from the Minister of Police and the National Commissioner, I think, will be very, very clear. We have to unite in the fight against crime. Let's take the issue of international terror. We know that international terror, organized crime, continues to rear its ugly head. Uh, and I hope uh, before the closing of the conference tomorrow, uh, the president of Crime Stoppers, Alec MacDonald, and myself will be able to, 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 to table what I'm calling the Cape Town Declaration. And this declaration will hopefully spur not only our members, but every citizen across the world on to really do something 
uh, in the fight against crime, Leanne. Good. You know, I've seen, I've seen that the, 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 the auditorium is full where the conference is taking place, but there's still today, there's still tomorrow. Is this conference open to the public? I mean, anybody that is wanting to do something as an ordinary citizen to help and fight crime, um, can they attend? Are they allowed to be there? Well, we, 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 we are full to capacity. We could only take a maximum of 620 delegates. But I'm sure if somebody pops into the Cape Town International Convention Center, we'll make a plan. We'll be able to com accommodate a few uh, day visitors today and tomorrow uh, on a first-come, first-served <laughs> basis. Uh, and we have hundreds of law enforcement officials. I mean, the South African Police Service has sent a number of uh, senior experts from across South Africa. Ordinary policemen are there. Ordinary police women are there. We have people in law enforcement from across the world. And that is the idea. I believe networking is important. Yeah. And for organizations like Proudly South African, SA Tourism, Business Against Crime, SEBRIC, SEFECT, um, Brand South Africa, to really come out and publicly support us is great. Mm -hmm. You know, the Shout Foundation, where you and I have been involved, together with Danny Kay and Cabello, um, uh, we've, we continue to, to, to say that we all have to play a role. Yeah. And tomorrow evening at the gala dinner, uh, we hope that we'll be able to talk about the, the new Shout song, which our musicians will be launching sometime early next year. Yeah. And that is the idea, is to bring everyone together. So yeah, uh, whoever is available, try your luck. Uh, I don't promise you you'll be accommodated. There will be a, a small uh, entrance fee or a delegate fee for the day. But let's see what we can do. In fact, we have 100 uh, ordinary citizens from the communities across South Africa that we awarded a, a scholarship program thanks to the support from many companies, NGOs, as well as uh, from government. Okay. Yusuf, thank you. Thank you for the work you're doing. Good luck with the rest of the conference. It's something we need. It's something all of us, I know, feel very, very passionately about. That was the head of Crime Line and the chairman of the conference organizing committee, uh, Yusuf Abramji, giving us some insights about the 35th annual Crime Stoppers International Conference and uh, that's happening here in South Africa. Remember that crime line number 32211. It'll cost you one rand. Just send a tip off and you could save someone's life. All right. It's time